University Malaya's Smart Engineering and Sustainable Urban Farm has been officially launched in the presence of the university's top academicians, weighing in on long-term goals and expanding it beyond the initial scope. Located on the rooftop of the Chemical Engineering Department, the Urban Farm is the brainchild of senior lecturer Dr. Fathia Mohamed Zuki. She set the wheels in motion by applying for the UM Living Labs grant under the purview of the UM Sustainability and Development Center UMSDC. Her proposal resulted in her being shortlisted and winning a 30,000 ringgit grant. As far as she knows, Fathia said no other public university in the country has this sort of sustainable rooftop garden. So what we have here, we can produce fish, uh, different kinds of fish as well, not only one, but we started with tilapia and we have the, you know, barb also uh, and uh, coming soon is uh, catfish. And then uh, if you look at these different kinds of vegetables and also we're going to have uh, fruits, different kind of fruits as well and uh, other uh, vegetables. So these are the things that we should introduce to our community, if possible, every single housing uh, house, they have their own uh, portable aquaponic uh, system. So they can actually produce their own food, not if only vegetables, but also fish, if you, then, uh, just like what you have seen from our students' product. UMSDC founding director, associate professor, Dr. Zida Fatima Mohammed said they will look into how to transform UM into a sustainable campus. We want to walk the talk and I guess this Living Lab you know, embodies that in the sense that it addresses a number of SDGs, SDG 2 on zero, hung zero hunger, uh, looking into SDG 11, uh, sustainable cities and communities, SDG 12, you know, sustainable consumption. So uh, it addresses you know, multiple areas of sustainability and we see that it also offers a lot of areas for research, education and engagement. UM Deputy Vice-Chancellor for Research and Innovation, Professor Dr. Kaharudin Dimyati, said the urban farm can be expanded beyond the Faculty of Engineering. I think uh, what we need to do now, okay, so we have now at Faculty of Engineering, yeah, uh, we need to expand over. Yeah, I think one, uh, like uh, it was mentioned now, it is under the SULAM uh, project, uh, SULAM programs. So SULAM is basically throughout the university. So once we are able to make these things happen, Okay, good uh, prototype, I would say. So then we can showcase to the university community. Yeah. Besides providing areas for research, education and engagement, the urban farm has also become a communal space for students and faculty members to gather to distress. But the students themselves come and say, thank you, doctor, you have developed this area. I, I, I came here every day because I was, uh, you know, uh, so stressed with my study. And then when I came here with those uh, sounds of water and so on, we feel like distress and we have our healing section here, so, something like that. So I don't have to ask everybody, but uh, you can ask my students as well. They are very, uh, feel comfort and they feel like this conducive area really helped them in their study.